This does not feel legal. <laughs> I think it's like an apple or po poison. <laughs> An apple? That's an apple. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. We're Greg and Hillary, the Kinetic Kinnons, and there are a few things you should know about us. We love a good margarita, or three. Wow! Stupid! One of us is a huge Taylor Swift fan. We'll let you guess who. And sometimes we sign ourselves up for some really strange adventures. Today was one of those times. Feels counterintuitive to be putting on sunscreen when it's like 35 degrees outside, but here we are. Also, my entire wardrobe consists of tank tops, so I <laughs> brought a lot of layers, but it feels like I'm getting ready to go to the beach, but we're definitely not going to the beach today. It's time to do brain surgery. <laughs> Or pick a piece of bread. What are you thinking? Uh, I want... No. You're gonna get those? That's the one piece you can get anywhere. That's what I want. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Poppy seed, sesame seed, or cheese? Uh, muck. No, that's set. All that fussing and you literally got the same thing I got? I couldn't find anything better. Are you serious? I couldn't find anything better. Do you have any idea what you just got ourselves into? No idea. None. We're following this lady. Seems good to get in a stranger's van, right? <laughs> After living in Mexico for six years, I convinced myself the Mexicans were indeed the craziest drivers in the world. <laughs> and then we visited Southeast Asia and I thought, this is wild. Wild. Now that we're in Poland, the Polish people were like, hold my beer. We are the craziest drivers in the world. I don't know how we survived that, but if the next adventure is anything like the adventure it was in the van to get here, we're all in for a special treat. I don't know about this anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to have doubts that we like don't, we have not the slightest clue what we signed up for. Nothing was in English. <laughs> I didn't know we were getting on a van to go anywhere. Now I'm a little concerned we've signed up for like a three night backpacking <laughs> trip. We wouldn't have the slightest clue. I don't know, I don't know why we did this. I think we should have done Google Translate a tad more, but. Okay. This is a lot of people on a uh, interestingly made boat. What's it going to be like on day three? <laughs> day three. I have a smile on my face, but actually, this is this is my stressed smile. <laughs> there are there are rapids up there. Yeah, I didn't expect this. Everyone else seems. Cool as a cucumber, though. So. Is budka fotograf robi pamiątkowe zdjęcie całej łodzi. Kosztuje zdjęcie 12 złotych. 
Do odebrania w I have no idea what this guy is saying. What's he saying? Yeah, that's right. We are somewhere in southern Poland along the Slovakian border. I think this is Slovakia. This is Poland. This is a guy that I have no idea what he's saying. And for the next two hours or so, we're going to be rafting down this the most beautiful scenic river I've ever seen in my entire life. And I think, I think there's going to be a few laughs along the way. Hey, brother! Like this is a little mismanagement of judgment. I don't think I took this into account when booking the tour. That we wouldn't understand the tour. I feel like we're the butt of the joke here a little bit. But keeping it together. I get the impression our tour guide is a little bit of a comedian. I think he's using this as stand-up hour. Testing out his jokes. Yeah. Tylko brzegi jest słowacki, polski, teraz są obydwa brzegi słowackie. Na przystań roboczą rozwiązujemy te łodzie pojedynczo, cztery komplety do góry się układu na sam ciężarowy wieku. 1513 rok. Słowakia. Poland. Słowakia. Poland. Kind of look the same. <laughs> Pod tą kładką, jak są wakacje, jest ciepło, są najładniejsze widoki. Zawsze z kolegą jak płynę... O! To dziwny turysta góry ogląda z dołu. So pretty. Looks fake. You know those like cheap calendars that you buy with like a picture for the October is like... This is it. Or November, a fall month is like perfectly perfect leaves. This is it. This is where they come to get those cheesy pictures. Looks like there's a green screen in front of us. <laughs> yeah. There's no way that's real. Yeah. The good thing about not knowing what you're signing up for is that it doesn't really take much to be amazed yeah. by it. But yeah. holy, it's just to go from not knowing what was going on to be still not knowing what's going on. Still not knowing what's going on, but to be in the middle of the most beautiful wilderness wilderness we've ever seen. Did I say wilderness? I meant wilderness. Wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> Teraz jest rezerwat, nie wolno tu nic zrywać. Jak spadnie drzewo, nie wolno go ruszać, bo zgnić. Have freezing. My hands. I'm having Germany flashbacks. Well, I felt better before. Your face doesn't look so good. It's kind of purple. Yeah, I feel kind of purple. This is a summertime activity. This is a summertime activity. And before you're like, uh, duh, you're in Poland, it's cold. I mean, these people also thought that this was an acceptable day to do this. Also, they've been cold for like 40 years. Different day, same progies, they're that good. Pro guy, I apologize. <laughs> Choosing a restaurant to eat at is a lot like dating. Right, right. <laughs> Ask me how. How? It is a lot of fun to try different restaurants. And, hey. well, I can imagine it could be a lot of fun. I don't know. Yeah. I found a restaurant I love and I have stuck with it for eight years, uh, ten months in a day. That's right. Actually, that's right. <laughs> Going to restaurants is a lot like dating. 
it's really fun to try different restaurants, see what you like, see what you don't like. Some you want to go back to over and over again, some you just only want to go to once. Me personally, I find a restaurant I like and I go back. We found the best pierogi in Poland and we're back, baby. We're back. Why try anywhere else when you know what you have is good? It's, it's pretty good words to live by. But yesterday we passed a tree with fruit on it, backed up, and I said, oh, Greg, that's a boo boo berry tree. And he believed me. No. So, no. so the score is tied. It's I did not believe you. I did not believe you. I did not believe you. I did say boo boo berry. And I think that gave you the impression that I believed you, but uh -huh. I did not believe you. Oh my gosh, that's really tart. <laughs>